In this video, I'll be giving you a detailed workthrough of question 1.1 of paper 1, Mathematical Literacy, November 2021's exam. Question 1.1 states, the table below shows the fuel prices in US dollars in six African countries on the 5th of June 2019 and the 1st of March 2021 with the exchange rate per currency on the 1st of March 2021. So analyzing the information in the table, we can see that the first column has a list of the six African countries that took part in the study. The second column is divided into two columns that shows the fuel price in US dollars for 2019 and 2021. I'll refer to these columns as column 2A and 2B from now on. So if we take Zimbabwe as an example, the price of fuel in US dollars on the 5th of June 2019 was 0.80 US dollars or 80 US cents. And on the 1st of March, the price of fuel increased to 1.258 US dollars. The third column in the table represents the current exchange rate as of the 1st of March 2021. We see that the value given is in the currency of a particular country. For example, for South Africa, the exchange rate is listed in rands and for Botswana, it is listed in the Botswana Pula. There is an exception though and that is for Zimbabwe where the exchange rate is listed in US dollars. So now let's look at the questions. We are instructed to use table 1 to answer the questions that follow. Question 1.1.1 reads, Calculate the fuel price increase for Zimbabwe on the 5th of June 2019 to the 1st of March 2021. So from the table, the price of fuel for Zimbabwe has increased from 0 0.80 US dollars to 1.258 US dollars. The price increase will be the difference between these two values. Therefore, the fuel price increase will be $1.258 minus $0.80 and that equals a fuel price increase of $0.458. Question 1.1.2 reads, write down the current exchange rate of the Botswana Pula to the US dollar in the following format. One Botswana Pula equals an unknown value of US dollars. So from the last column in table 1, the exchange rate for the Botswana Pula is given as 11,14 Pula to the US dollar. Therefore, 11,14 Botswana Pula equals 1 US dollar. But the question asks to provide the answer in the form of one Botswana Pula to a certain amount of US dollars. So to convert from 11,14 Botswana Pula to one Botswana Pula, we must first divide the 11,14 Pula by a factor of 11,14 to get us a value of one Pula. So to find the value of one Pula in US dollars, we have to divide the one US dollar by the same factor of 11,14 to get a value of 0 0.8976. So one Botswana Pula equals 0 0.898 US dollars. Moving on to question 1.1.3. Identify the countries which shows a decrease in the fuel price from the 5th of June 2019 to the 1st of March 2021. So from column 2A and 2B, we see that Angola, Namibia and Botswana are the only countries that had a decrease in the fuel price between the given two periods. Therefore, the answer for this question is Angola, Namibia and Botswana. Question 1.1.4 asks us to arrange in descending order the fuel price in US dollars for the 1st of March 2021. So descending order means that we have to arrange the data from the highest value to the lowest value. So from column 2B in table 1, the list from highest value to lowest value is 1.258, then 1.061, then 0 0.87, 
then 0 0.796, then 0 0.732, and finally 0 0.254. Question 1.1.5 states that the probability of randomly selecting a country that is not South Africa is 5 over 6. Write this probability in decimal form rounded to three decimal places. Now the probability can be expressed in three forms. That is, as a common fraction, like what is given in the question, it can be expressed as a decimal number or as a percentage. So for this question, the probability is given as a common fraction and it asks us to convert it to a decimal number. For this calculation, we can use a calculator by typing in 5 divided by 6 to get an answer of 0 0.83 recurring. And recurring just means that the 3 repeats forever. Since the question asks us to round the answer to 3 decimal places, we will get a final answer of 0 0.833. And that's it for question 1.1 1 .1 of the 2021 November uh, mathematical literacy examination. Check out the next video in which I will be working through question 1.2 of the same paper.